All right, hey guys. Um, I'm going to be doing a tutorial today to show you how to model um, this laser. Um, I'm probably not going to cover the stand or the bottom of it. All this is is a cylinder. And um, I extruded it and in extruded it. And yeah, so we're going to be making the top laser. Okay, this is the second time I'm going over this. The first time I finished it, had everything done, and then my audio didn't record, so I had to restart. Alright, so we're going to come into the primitives tab. <coughs> we're going to grab a cube. Uh, sorry, not a cube, a cone. And um, change the orientation to uh, minus X. It's gonna put a flat like this. Um, uh, the back is too big, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna change it to 55. Number locks not 55. And uh, for height segments, change it to 11. <coughs> and um, <clears throat> that should be good. So um, click. C on your keyboard or hit the make editable button up here in the left corner and um, then change into polygon mode which is the square uh, there's the attribute and everything then there's points edges and then there's the one with the big orange square is the polygon mode now go into selection grab the loop selection tool and you can see um, when I put it over, it selects the whole entire loop. So if I'm going to click the third, hmm. should I just click this one? I should click that one. I forget which one. I'll click this one. The third down. It, uh, selects the whole loop. But, uh, if you are on a certain part, uh, yeah, if you're on a certain part, it selects a different, the other way. So just make sure you're selecting around the cone so you have a selection like that. Um, <clears throat> now, uh, oh. now right click and go to extrude um, or structure and go to extrude. Uh, in the attributes of the extrude, um, uncheck preserve groups. And, um, what this does is, um, when I extrude with preserve groups unchecked, um, we get this effect. The polygons change into their own polygons, but if you have preserve groups checked, they stay in one big polygon. It doesn't have the spaces in between. Um, so, uncheck preserve groups and extrude it. <clears throat> Around like, around like, uh, maybe a bit bigger. Like that. And then um, do another little extrude so you have like a square. Square polygon right here. And um, drag these, oh shoot. I forgot to tell you guys. Um, after your first extrude, drag it back a bit so it's not so uh, lean forward. And then do your second extrude to uh, make your little square. <laughs> Sorry about that. <sighs> All right. Um, now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna grab my live selection tool, the circular one, and um, I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna hold shift the whole entire time. Well, I'm just gonna deselect all the polygons. Now I'm gonna hold shift I'm going to select, um, I'm just going to change my radius to 5, but I'm going to select and I'm going to hold select and I'm going to select all of these front squares on. This is uh, why we did our second extrude, so I can select all these little squares and I'm um, just going to select it. 
And um, if you guys accidentally selected an extra polygon, let's say this thing right here, and you didn't want it, uh, you can either go Control Z or you can hold Control and click, and it'll deselect it for you. Now, if you now that you got all the front polygons selected on it, um, go to the back and do the same thing. Uh, hold Shift and just select all of those polygons. Just gonna click them all. There's so many of them. I've done this like three times already. Right. I'm almost done. You can pause the video, guys, and select them all, and then come back. Or all right. Now, after I select them all, I'm just going to make sure that only um, those ones that I want are selected. So, looks pretty good. Now, I'm going to I'm gonna come to like a side vision or whatever. Uh, just going to turn, and I'm going to come to extrude. And um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to extrude my polygons so they don't come equal to the end of my cone. Just a bit less. And I'll give you this kind of look. Um, and then uh, without clicking anything, come to the size tool so you still got all your polygons selected. And uh, just click anywhere and hold and bring it to the left. And um, just drag it so you have the size of your cone. Uh, well, not the size, but however you want it. Mine's like the shape of the cone. I like it like this. Um, and it gives this this kind of look here. Now if we go um, and look at the back of our laser, we want to deselect all these polygons here. So I'm just going to come grab my live selection tool. I'm going to change my radius to 10. And I'm going to hold control. And I'm just going to click and I'm going to drag over all the polygons on the back that are selected. And when I let go, all of them are deselected. There. Now we only got our front polygon selected here. Now um, right click or structure in your extrude. Um, and click and drag to the left so you get a little square here. Um, you don't want to make it too small but you, uh, you can make it however big you want actually uh, to fit your size but um, what we're going to be doing with this is we're in air extruding them a bit, not too much, but a bit, so it gives, so it looks like that. So it's like an indent on our, on our laser. All right. Now what we're going to do is um, we're going to come to the back of the laser, and I'm going to come into selection and loop selection. Now I'm going to select the biggest loop, so the furthest one to the outside. <clears throat> and um, I'm going to grab my extrude tool and I'm going to click preserve, preserve groups I think and I'm going to extrude out just a tiny bit and then I'm going to inner extrude oh, on your inner extrude um, uncheck preserve groups and I'm just going to extrude that and then after that, I'm going to extrude those out. And then I'm going to grab my scale tool and click anywhere on the screen and scale it in. And um, I th and you can grab your move tool and move it in a bit if it's too far out for you or whatever. But it's going to give you that kind of look. Um, all right. <coughs> Now we're going to work on the front of our laser. And um, so what you're going to do is get your camera so you see the front of the laser kind of like right in the middle of your screen. There we go. Um, I'm going to grab my live selection tool. And now what we're going to do 
is find the center polygons or whatever. So um, they would be around here and grab the two that go over the center line. So that would be these two, that would be those two, and that would be this two. And basically these are the most center polygons that I can get. And um, see, we selected them there, we selected them there. Uh, this one can select, I think that, yeah, that's better. <coughs> yeah, that one. So just select the ones that look most in the center to you. And now we'll, we get those ones. And now, um, there's these rings of polygons, select three rings of them. I'll show you what I mean in a second. See, now we got uh, our polygons right here that we selected, and then I selected two more back, so it makes it longer. Right click and go to extrude, uh, have preserve groups on, extrude out a bit, and then let go, and then extrude out a little bit more. And it'll um, give us this kind of look here. And now what I'm going to do, you don't have to do it, but, ooh, that looks really, anyways, um, I'm going to come so I see these things, and I'm going to grab my live selection tool, and, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab and select the, these little squares here from our extra extrude, um, and what I'm going to do with these squares that are selected here, um, I'm going to right click and I'm going to go extrude and I'm going to extrude them until they touch together. So if I run through this, you got that kind of look <coughs> right there. All right. Now, what is next? What is next? Um, hmm. all right, um, on mine, I had like a big tube coming out of the sides. I'll show you how to make this, um, grab a, grab a tube here and, um, change the inner radius to four and the outer radius to five and change the height to five and that should be good. Uh, click the little square in the top corner to change your uh, perspective or your view and you come to the front view and if you click on it um, We want to align this tube up so the bottom is parallel with the tube because if we bring it down like this it's uh, Facing straight out and we want it on an angle So grab your rotate tool and just rotate it until it's um like the same angle is your laser and then just copy and paste and drag it down to however far you want it um now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a spline and we're gonna create a spline actually and then grab the bezier or whatever you pronounce it i can never pronounce that and um click inside your tube and then uh, with this one, if you click and hold, you can adjust the angle of your line, I guess. So, click in your tube and then above your tube once and adjust the angle. And then click above the other tube, adjust the angle, and then click in the tube once. And if we click the move tool, we can um, easily move our you can move and adjust your points i don't want mine sticking out that much so i'm just gonna make it like that uh grab come into the spline tab and grab a circle and create the radius to four and um come into the nerves where the hyper nerve is the little ball square thing and grab a sweet nerves drag the spline in first and then drag the circle in second and I'll show you what we got we got this thing um, yeah so I'm just gonna go 
Yeah. That's basically how I made the handle, and then I just rotated that around. Um, I just copied and pasted and moved them around my laser. Um, now, uh, for the stand, what I uh, I kind of explain to you. I just deleted the bottom polygons by grabbing my cone, went in polygon mode, and then just selected all the surfaces that I didn't want down here and deleted them. And then just made a stand. But right now I'm going to show you how to make uh, the laser of um, of the, this thing shoots. Alright, so come into the primitives tab and grab a cone. And change the thing, uh, the orientation to plus X, so it's facing the opposite way. Um, change the bottom radius to four, and change the height to five hundred and fifty-five. All right, and then just move it so the tip is where um, our squares meet. So right there. And uh, you can see, kind of looks like it's shooting a laser. But um, I'll show you the material that uh, I made. So I'll just show you what it looks like first. This is what our material looks like. So um, create a new material by double clicking the materials manager or file new material. Double click on it to edit it. And um, in the color tab, Change the color to 100% white, and then uh, check the luminance channel. Change that, uh, it'll already be white, so you don't have to do anything with that. Reflection, um, I changed it to black. Not 100% black, but pretty dark. Um, and then uncheck specular, and check glow. And um, uncheck used material color, and then change the color to 100% um, red. Uh, the brightness is 100%. Uh, uh, inner strength is still 100%. Uh, outer strength is 654%. You can mess around with that if you want. The radius is 10, I think everything else is the same, so 10, 0, percent, and then 1. Um, and then drop that on your cone, that uh, it's a laser, and I'll give you that look. Um, so yeah, basically that's the tutorial on how to make the laser. I don't know, sorry, it was kind of fast done and... Didn't explain things as much. It's because I've, I just went over this and the audio didn't record. And I was like, oh man, and I really didn't feel like doing it again. But I wanted to show you guys how to make this. Um, I have an upcoming. Uh, my project that I'm working with this is Project Red. I'm putting it into an intro for my friend that should be done, by in a like one or two days. Um, but yeah, so basically comment, like, subscribe if you're not, if you have any questions or suggestions for tutorials in the future, um, I'll try to, I'll try to make those tutorials, I'll answer all you guys' questions, um, if you absolutely could not make this, um, thing, I'll give you the file download, just private message me. And, yeah. Alright guys, um, see you next time. Peace.